Hello and welcome to another little ride I'm going to do. This is Tour of Watopia Stage 3, the Volcano Climb. I've just finished the TTT, um, well, about 10 minutes ago, so not in the fittest state, but I really want to do this ride. I'm not going to get many more opportunities. I want to do the Volcano in under 7 minutes. So my current PV, I think, is 7 minutes 9. So I'm hoping the double draft, loads of feathers, and even though I'm tired, I might still be able to do it. Let's see. Oh no, I'm on the wrong wheels. <laughs> I'm going to speed things up a bit as we take the scenic route out to the volcano. Tour of Watopia is brilliant for growing PBs. You've got the double draft effect, we've got power ups that last twice as long. And in this edition, we've got lots of extra power-ups as we go up the volcano and intermittently throughout the ride. And this ride sets off at quite a lick, but with the double draft, I can just stay in the draft and take it reasonably comfortably. It's not zone two by any stretch, but I'm not really going into the red either and we eventually get a front group the large second group threatens to catch us a couple of times but the little ramps and the hairpins eventually do for them and the dirty suppressor was tricky even going downhill but i managed to say stay in the draft and we head over to the volcano uh, as i mentioned i'm really looking for seven minutes but i stupidly did well i had to do the ZRL team time tile beforehand and I stupidly left on my disc wheels rather than a more appropriate light wheel set since so I'm really focused on this seven minutes for the volcano target. From watching Eric Lee and Eric Barnett's videos of this I know there's a extra power of banners we approach so I can fire the feather as we get in there and I think if I was doing this again, I would actually save a truck, if I could, for the start of this, to last well into this bit of the climb and also wouldn't negatively affect me for the small descent. But feather's not too bad, and off we go. I've kept it at double speed for this section, I think. Um, no one really, generally ever, makes much of a dig to go it alone on the lower half of the volcano there's a flat or flattish section in the middle which means that groups often often catch if someone does go off the front in the lower half but we're generally pushing it and people kind of rolling off uh, rolling turns at the front and it is quite tough still we get at least a couple of feathers on the bottom half which obviously people use and here we are into the flattish middle section it is pretty flat and I really take advantage of this being at the back of the group getting the full draft effect because I know I'm gonna have to go hard all the way up the second half and I want to keep that hard push as short as possible so I'm just slowed it to normal time now and straight away someone goes at the front I think that's Bowler um, now my max heart rate is 171 and anything over 150 is uncomfortable so I'm already in the uncomfortable range my legs are pretty tired having done the TTT and now a before this one started use my feather here now it's kind of a good idea I think to use it when others are using it because you want to rest when they are if they're going faster then you want to go faster now this is certainly not a rest I'm up in the 400s in terms of wattage and I'm already looking at that countdown timer which is extremely promising well under the um, seven minutes target for the ETA but if I crack, that'll soon disappear. So I want to want to not crack and hit that seven minutes. And I'll try trying to decide which wheels to follow here. Try to go after this guy in the orange. 
Dutch rider by the looks of it. And as I get there, I realise I just can't quite catch his wheel. Now the draft effect is quite minimal at this speed, even with double draft. But the psychology of being with a group does does help. So the flatter section just brings me back to them. So I'm in the wheel of pretty much the front group with just this guy bowler off the front, the Italian. Still quite tough across these uh, planks, even though the gradient isn't extremely steep, but the speed is high. Really wish I'd taken a light wheel set here. And as we pick up the final power up that we'll get before the summit, I'm just looking at that timer thinking, I know there's a steep section right at the end where I want this feather to be active. Do I use it now to try and catch these two? Heart rate now well over 160, 166. Now that's what I usually get up to at the end of a sprint in most circumstances. So this is extreme pain levels. Wishing someone would take on the lead here. So if I'm estimated at 6.45, I don't really want to hit it before 6.15. As this group comes in front of me. I know it's now or never, so I hit the feather power up. Try and keep hold of that group. And here comes the final ramp. Now it's time to go all in. Get that PB. So I'm sprinting on dead legs here. Pain is palpable, just close my eyes, hoping to get through it, hoping it will go away. As I make the final push to the line. Kaboom! 6.36. So well over 30 seconds off my PB, absolutely delighted. But now I find myself at the front of the race. I'm thinking, hmm. Oh, smash that. Not just a PB, maybe I could compete for this race. But there's a bit of a gap. I let those ahead of me go, and I think that was fatal, pretty much. Eventually come together in a mini gruppetto of three. And we so i've at least got some mates for the flattish bit but we're pushing all the way here and assumedly well looking at the wattages in front they're really resting up so those those few seconds are absolutely crucial so i eventually make a bit of a dash for it trying to catch them don't quite do it but just managed to almost grab on to a wheel here and then I know there's a little ramp if I can just push here but I try and there's nothing in my legs and that was the end of my attempt to compete for the top um, top places but I let this group catch me, well, let them, I didn't have much choice, <laughs> and roll towards the finish with them. Uh, heart, not really into uh, the final sprint, not very committed to competing for 10th uh, place or wherever it was, as I normally would be, but having had uh, two major efforts uh, before this, I Give it a bit of a go. See if I can catch this guy off the front. Let's see. No, oh, actually, 800 watts, not bad. But those behind are coming up fast. And, yeah, nothing less left to really give there but that was great smashed my pb on the volcano absolutely delighted nearly died in the process but really enjoyed it give it a go sometime if you're after a pb